Hello everyone. Okay. So today we are going to start our next topic that is what happened to the local schools. So in this topic we are going to study about that basically have you ever wondered what what was about the old schools before British came and how did it work and what was the functioning of those schools how did it look like and all stuff okay so uh, if you want to see how does it look like just see the image pre uh, present in your so if you want to see that how did it look like so just see the image present over here okay okay yes this image this image represents that this is how old schools look like now let's get to the point what is the point basically britishers once asked a scottish missionary named william adam okay so he william adam uh, was asked to come in india and to tour bengal and bihar uh, here your william adam a eh, sorry yes to come in india and tour bengal and bihar he had been asked by the company to report the progress of education in vernacular schools the report adam produced is interesting okay so he made a report after after some time and we are going to study that report and you will be like you know shocked okay and surprised with the things firstly it is telling that in his report it was mentioned over 1 lakh over 1 lakh part shalas in bengal and bihar exist okay in bengal and bihar exist now what were part shalas part shalas were the small institutions with no more than 20 students each this would be the definition of a part shala these were small institutions with no more 20 students each but the total number of children being taught in these part shalas was over 20 lakh okay more than even 20 lakh students were studying in these path shalas uh, in bengal and bihar so this is also an important point more than 20 lakh now next point these institutions were set up by wealthy people now who set up these institutions wealthy people or the local community set up these institutions for society purpose for the children of society so that they could be able to study about and uh, society also wants their children to be you know taught by somebody so that is for that reason these institutions were set up by either wealthy people or the local community at times they were started by a teacher guru okay and now that doesn't mean ki, uh, that wealthy people will teach the students or local community will teach the students they will just organize a place for a school they will just make it possible that a school should be there and they will uh, bring a teacher which was known as guru in the earlier times so this is how they used to set up these institutions now next paragraph system of education was flexible how is it flexible flexible means it can be you know a change if you want this way you can go that way also you can go that way also means there is no some particular restrictions or rules that needs to be followed that are must followed okay now how was the system of education was flexible in older india few things that you that you associate with schools today were present in the patshalas at the time but there are a lot of things which if we associate with schools today won't be present in the path shalas at that time okay for example here if you see in the earlier times the schools have no fixed fee there was no fee particular fee that uh, you have to pay 2000 rupees per month or 3000 rupees per month nothing it just depends on you no printed books as it was the oral education time no separate school building so society won't be able to make a whole school with buildings with parks and all stuff they will just make a hut or just organize a place where students can come and sit and teach can teach okay no benches or chairs so in the earlier times if you have ever heard to your parents or anybody any old person they used to say that we used to sit on the you know mat 
used to take maths in our school and just put it on the floor and then we sat over it right that means that there were no benches or chairs and no blackboards as i told you it was the oral education time no blackboards no system of separate classes means if a 14 year old boy is there and if a 13 year old boy is there so we in english education the 14 year old boy will be just one class higher than the 13 year bo- old boy and he will be uh, he will be sitting in some other class some other building in the english education system but in the earlier times it was not like that it was just that they all of them will sit together and if uh, the person who is just 14 or 13 then they can have same amount of education it was not something they have not particularized things like Brit- english or uh, english education does no roll call uh, registers the separate classes no roll co- roll call registers as i told you it was very flexible means there was no need to you know call uh, take attendance who has come who hasn't come so they, there were no roll call registers no annual examinations now annual examinations which happens in english education we have to give every year we have to pass out from one class to another and for that we have to uh, get through an exam of the previous class right but in the hindi education in the early times of indian education it does it won't happen it's just all was as i told you it was not taken that seriously that education needs to be all time attended and all stuff no it was just like a flexible means any way you want to do it or you don't want to do it it doesn't matter now next thing is here that and no regular timetable obviously no regular timetable was there that after this time till 8 to 5 we will uh, till 8 to 9 we will give you english class 9 to 10 we will give you maths class nothing like that now in some places classes were held under a banyan tree in other places in the corner of a village or shop or temple or at guru's home so on which places these most of the more probably most of the times used to set up these classes were held under a banyan tree why a banyan tree because banyan tree has a lot uh, has a large you know um canopy which makes a large canopy and for that purpose uh, a, a lot of people can get sh- uh, shadow under this so can get shed under this so that is why students a lot of students can sit over here okay so a banyan tree then here it comes the um yeah other places like corner of a village shop village shop and a temple okay anywhere anywhere where students can be uh, students can be taught their pachalas used to happen or sometimes at guru's home also at guru's home too fee dependent on the now what about the fee fee dependent on the income of parents rich had to pay more than the poor this is how it happens but if it if we see today this is a little unfair with other with the rich people but in the early times it was not taken as unfair uh, culture it was taken as normal thing like this has to happen because those who are rich uh, they have to pay more who are poor they have to pay less so fee was dependent on what income of parents if some parent has a higher income will have to pay high uh, fees and if some parent have a, has a lower income, he will have to pay low fees. Now, teaching was oral as usual, and the guru decided what the what to teach. Like now, like uh, like in the current situation, we have a total proper syllabus, and we have to follow that syllabus, and we have to complete that syllabus throughout the year. And when when it gets completed, we give an exam and we get pass out from that class, right? But in the earlier times, guru decided what to teach, what they uh, what students need to be taught in accordance uh, with the needs of students. What uh, in which things students are interesting. If students are poor in such subject like maths or something like that, so the guru will teach that subject particularly. So it is it totally depends on guru. Okay, students were not separated. Uh, out of into different classes obviously if there are no buildings 
nothing like that and only people are uh, just like you know sitting in a random position random order so th- there is no need to uh, separate the classes as i told you that 13 year old boy and 14 year old boy will sit together okay so no different uh, classes all of them sat together in one place the guru interacted separately with groups of children with different levels of learning okay now let's get to the next paragraph adam discovered that this flexible system was suited to local needs now if you see that what do you feel that this flexible system is not appropriate for students if they want to have a proper education and a perfect education right but adam what adam absorbed absorbed uh, sorry observed that this flexible system this flexible education system of india used to suit to local needs like means local people's needs how for example classes were not held during harvest time okay but in english education there is no such thing that in harvest time classes won't be there but in uh, non harvest time classes will be there doesn't matter for students it's just all the time right but it has told adam discovered that in the earlier times at the harvest time there is no classes and when rural children of why there is no classes because rural children means the children belongs to the villages used to work in the fields in the behalf of their parents or help their parents or uh, you know be uh, due to poverty they have to do it some uh, do, do it on some other field the path shall have started once again when the crops had been cut and stored and as the crops are done then path shalas used to begin this meant that even children of peasant families could study this showed that even children of peasant families could study okay so to, uh, if someone someone asked that in earlier times peasant families children would be able to study anyhow so you would say yes they can they was able to study now here is a small box a village pathshala this is a painting by a dutch painter franco is Sol- uh, solvent who came to india in the late 18th century he tried to depict the everyday life of people in his paintings so he made this painting this is a village pathshala okay so this is the image of a village pathshala all right so we are done with this topic and i hope you got this topic thank you have a good day and also please mention in the comment section if you have any kind of question or doubt or anything related to this topic mention in the comment section i will definitely answer your all questions thank you bye bye